So, first of all, I would like to welcome the audience here and also for those potentially watching at the web. It's a pleasure to be back here. Uh, for me, the first, uh, fourth time uh, with our company. And uh, it's just so uh, great to see the good work uh, these guys are doing here and to see the development and the growth. I'm here to talk about uh, composite cylinder systems uh, for a wide range of applications. And I will start by giving a short introduction to our company and then talk some more about our products and applications. So the Hexagon Composite Group, we are a public company listed at Oslo Stock Exchange. And with our motto, driving the energy transformation, we think we hit directly the purpose. Storing energy as high pressure hydrogen, just as any other battery, for the energy to be used later on, either as fuel or directly as power, with zero emission. And here the nice photo from the team at our booth. Our main core is the Type 4 tanks. And that's been uh, the things we have been focusing on for many years now. And as you can see here down below, our safe track record shows a really sign of proof. We have over half a million high pressure tanks out in the field, that including both CNG and hydrogen. And we have over 15 million low pressure tanks out there. And looking at this, you can see that we have been around for a while. And that also explains a little bit the track record we have. As you can see, the history goes back to the early 60s and uh, we still continue to grow. Especially the last three years, we have been rather busy. In 2016, we got Mitsui in on the owner side, and uh, we have done several acquisitions. Also in 16, we acquired Experian Energy and Environment. They came into our group. And last year, we acquired Digital Wave, which uh, is a company in North America doing model acoustic emission. And last but not least, we acquired the full ownership of Agility Fuel Solution. Uh, the deal was closing there in January this year. Also worth to mention, uh, we joined the Hydrogen Council last year. And here you can see our current global footprint and uh, with the main basis in North America and Europe. And we have now over 850 people on board. And our combined turnover will be in the area of around 300 million euro. Today, the group is divided in uh, these business areas. You can see here, starting from the right, Hexagon de Gasco, which is covering the low pressure area. And then we have the mobile pipeline distribution of uh, gas, mainly CNG, and also other industrial gases. Then we have Agility Fuel Solutions. They are covering the medium and heavy duty, making complete system for that. Started out on CNG, but now also within hydrogen. And that's mainly bus and trucks. And then, last but not least, we have Hexagon Purus, where I reside currently. And that is covering uh, all hydrogen related activities in addition to the CNG light UT vehicles. So Hexagon Puris is well established with product and offering in the whole hydrogen value chain. All the way from production, preferably based on renewables and uh, throughout distribution, ground storage into all the end user application either serving as a fuel tank or anywhere else you will convert the hydrogen to power again. We started out early in the 2000s, but as you can see now, we are into a quite large variety of applications. And we cover all the segments you can see here, H2 automotive, the distribution, ground storage, marine, rail, backup power. 
So this brings me then over to our product, the lightweight cylinder technology. And I will start first with uh, the tank itself. So a Type 4 concept is uh, probably well known to you. It uh, consists of a plastic inner liner. It could either be high density polyethylene or polyamide. And the choice uh, between the two materials for the liner is mainly driven by the size of the tank and also the process we use to, use, uh, to make it. For both uh, materials, we have in-house capabilities. Outside the tanks are wrapped with mainly carbon fiber and in the end you have uh, boss ends, openings, to attach to either plumbing, piping or valves and PRDs. If you want to take a closer look, I recommend you to come over to our booth. We have a nice cutout exhibit there. Key advantages with Type 4 should be well known, but uh, you cannot repeat the message too often, which is good. And uh, lightweight, the high fatigue resistance, no corrosion, to mention some of the advantages. So with this Type 4 technology, we have many sizes and uh, pressure ranging from uh, 200 to 950 bar. And uh, for those who have followed us for a while, you can see that our tank list is uh, growing. And uh, here we now have also added the approval, just to give the, some guidance on which application they are allowed for. In addition, I can mention that we have also other tanks in development. So I recommend you to come by and have a discussion with us. And just uh, stay tuned for next development. While the main core of the company is the tank manufacturing, uh, mainly done at the facilities in Norway, Castle, Germany, and Lincoln, Nebraska, we develop more and more the system side of the company. And uh, here's some snapshot of what we have been doing up uh, for hydrogen the last uh, years. Uh, we started out uh, quite early in 2006, and we delivered to the light duty segment and uh, refueling stations. But the last three years we have developed into almost any application you can imagine. So in the light duty segment, we have the GLC and recently announced the Audi contract, the 700 bar tanks. For the heavy duty, we have the Asco Scania project, 350 bar. Heavy duty in North America, Toyota truck, 700 bar. Then we have the first uh, Alstom train out with our tanks on board. 350 bar and the same with new flyer 350 bar we also will deliver to the golden gate uh, zero emission vessel in uh, san francisco bay and there we are on 250 bar uh, our key advantage is also to take the product from the scale of prototype up to high quantity cost efficient production and if you would see a sign of proof of that, I recommend you to see our facility in Norway for the low pressure area. On a single line there, they are able now to do, after the last expansion, two million tanks per year. And this gives us the confidence that we can do and repeat the same business when the quantity of tanks also for hydrogen picks up. Then to further talk some more about our systems and solutions. I would li like to give you a couple of examples. So here you see our X store, and uh, here we have delivered uh, to uh, customers like Linde, Air Products, Air Liquid, and uh, some more, uh, already since uh, 2012. And we have now uh, 30 units on the road running with hydrogen system. And these are quite flexible in the range. You can have them in 10 feet size up to 45 feet and in different pressure, 250, 300, and 500 bar. Today we have the largest capacity worldwide. Uh, with a 500 bar system, 40 feet, we can carry 1.1 ton. And we are also looking now with new standards to have a target in the future, not too far away, maybe already in 2021, up to 1.5 ton. And for this, we are now setting up a new assembly line in our facility in Kassel in Germany. Here also worth mentioning our unique feature with a non-limited life that makes the total cost of ownership very good. 
And if you want to learn more about the TCO, the total cost of ownership, I recommend you to look up the speech Hartmut Ferenbach gave here yesterday. Another example I want to mention is the tank and uh, bundling we do on the high pressure for ground storage. There we have delivered already the tanks for refueling station purpose uh, for some years. Started out in 2008. And now we also do bundling of these tanks that could be a combination of different pressure in the bundles. We have the PED approval for these tanks. And uh, that's what you need for the ground storage in Europe. In addition, we have also recently acquired a DOT special permit to deliver these with gas on the road for mobile refueler in the States. The big ad advantage with Type 4 in the ground storage is uh, the cycling and the fatigue resistance. You can cycle these many more times compared to a steel cylinder. So with this, I want to summarize and say that you will find us and our zero emission solutions everywhere. And I welcome you over to our booth, B60, just over there, and take a look, if you haven't seen it already, on our new animation. So, thank you for uh, the attention, and I will uh, try to answer any questions you might have. Thank you very much, Jon Helegeral. Are there any questions from the audience? Okay, then let me have the first one. You're kind of very well experienced in the market and established in the market. Where do you see the future? We had a talk yesterday, so uh, I already heard some things, but can you maybe share where you, what, what is your outlook for the upcoming years? I think the outlook now is to get from the, the scale where we see some demonstration units. I can say that for almost any application, it's about the first ones. The market outlook will be that they will ramp up to be, uh, let's say, a higher quantity. And we see the development is maybe moving faster in the heavy duty segment. So buses and truck, we are quite confident that will come in good numbers quite soon. Yeah, I think this also, um, you can see it here with the presentations, a lot of are about the heavy duty vehicles yeah. uh, this year. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm curious what you're going to present next year, hopefully here at the Hanover Fair. Thank you again. Thank you.